Hello everyone. Time for our weekly sketch. We got Richard the model here, which I'm not going to show you the 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 model because we see I should have pixelated the face, but it doesn't matter. So I'll just do the drawing. It doesn't have to be the model to be shown. Here we have the body, body structure. Head is laying on the sofa, on on actually table, and um, hand, arm, um, got the bicep, and you have the belly here with a bit of shadow to create a bit of a volume here around here. Then you have the upper his right arm his right arm here just laying relaxed on the top of his body then um, upper shoulder there bit of head Sorry about that. Top of the head. Um, the portrait has gone too dark. Here you've got the nose here. Eyes, he's quite relaxed. My brow. Bit of a head. Neck which is, gets inside the body with the position that it's got here. Color bone. Neck. Chin. Longer the nose. It's quite stretched before. And highlight on the hand. Shadow, I mean, extending the shadow above his hair, his um, on, on the background, and he had his shadow on the that's the background. And collarbone again. On the right hand side, we got this nipple here. Bit of highlight. And let's progress a little bit lower here. Crotch area. And the thighs, they move a bit further down, we've got the thigh here, the left hand side, left thigh, right one, and hand there, I think a bit short, so I'll push the hand a bit lower on that side, then you've got his <coughs> toes here, his right foot, and his foot goes right to the crotch area, so the foot is standing up here. And we got his thighs, and all this side, all that is in shadow. Kind of a transparent shadow, actually. I don't want to go too dark on that. Because otherwise... Well, actually, that's this area. It's much darker than that at the top. Much, much darker. And you have cast shadow of the body on the table. or Well, actually, it's on the table. It's not on the couch.
and the hand, as I said, just extend it, stretch it here, bone structure, bone structure, and soft, soft, soft up to um, elbow, um, el elbow, that is also dark, should go much, much darker than what it is at the moment. I can use some sandpaper here. Darker, darker on the elbow as well. Uh, sorry, shoulder. And all this area, dark, 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 dark. Just to push his chest further back and then bring his belly forward. That also needs to be pushed back. And then leave that muscle area towards us. Bit of a reflected light on this body structure. A few lines here. And hand, hand actually strange because his hand appears to be longer than what I think it is. Probably it is long, as long as it looks here. Yeah. And not forget the bouncing light on the bone structure. Bouncing light here as well. And it's got a bit of a, I mean, it's actually a duvet, but I don't want to put it as a duvet, so I'll translate it onto a pillow, kind of, to make it a bit better looking. No, it's very interesting, the face, the face is really, really, really interesting, how to get a very peaceful, sleepy portrait. His eyes are lower as well. Eyebrow. Darker flesh tone. And okay now. Let's highlight the hand. Fingers as it is, uh, his kind of a fist, he's holding his hand with his fist. Uh, sorry, head. Did I say hand? It's head, obviously. There, bit of a cheek here, bit of a cheek. Uh, highlighted the cheek and no structure. Yeah. Yeah. The neck and also the neck here, which is quite highlighted because it's facing the light. If you know what I mean by saying that, head I mean, the neck is facing the light coming this way, hmm? then the light is coming, it's illuminating his armpit here, that area, his breast. Nipple. Bit 
light of his shadow and also the flesh tone is darker cannot be as light as the background so I need to darken the whole thing here maybe bring The upper a lower arm bit just push the lower arm a bit lower than what I'm what I've done previously. And that will justify the long the length of the arm there. Foot thigh actually. And this right thigh creates a shadow onto his left thigh. Okay, the body, belly area. Some more darks on this side. And then I can highlight a little bit more here by his um, breast here. And a bit lighter here. And the collarbone. And give it a little bit of a highlight on the cheek, cheek and chin, both cheek and chin as well. White hair, and also left upper arm can lower it a little bit that will obviously a bit of exaggeration on the length of that would would go down well exaggeration look works good on these kind of foreshortening drawings pillow which makes a little bit of a shadow here And oh, that background shadow that will also help. Just a bit of a shadow here, create a bit of depth, and that floor shadow. I will deliberately darken the shadow more than the, the cast shadow of the body. Just to make a point here. To want to do too much or too many darks on the body, but instead I will work it on the on the cast shadow of the floor or table where the model is actually sitting. Bit of structure on the shadow. Structure, I said structure. Don't want it to be a bit too uncontrollable and too loose. So you want something, a bit of a structure. Instead of darkening the pillow here, I'm darkening his upper arm.
again, losing the dark, see, and creating a dark, general dark of the lower arm upon his thigh. Lose that line between the hand, the upper, sorry, hand, I mean the arm, the upper arm, and, and the lower arm here. So just create a general shadow, in my view, would be better. There. That pushes back. Yeah. And the color bro. That is very important here to be seen. Bit further up. Bit further up here. Straight line. That will do not a lot, not a lot. Otherwise, it becomes too important and it attracts too much attention. And softer. Armpit here, breast, bit of a shadow here, okay, and take some dark sea and create that way his breast separate from the right side of his body to the left. There's more tension, there's more dark, there's more shadow here on, on this where I am at the moment. It's much, much darker this area of his body. And uh, a bit more contrast with the pillow. Highlight here on the on his breast and rib cage. And then belly button. Belly button somewhere here. There. Crotch area a bit lower. So that line could go a little bit lower than what it is at the moment. That makes the body a bit short. Uh, cannot get rid of that line. That happens sometimes. Sometimes you can't do much about it. I'll try and use some um, white chalk. Okay, I've done it with white chalk and actually it doesn't work even, it makes it made it even worse. So let's keep that dark, keep that area dark, get the belly button there, dark. It's a half tone. Okay. And so I don't even have to fix it. It just merges with the darks, see that dark line, it just merges with the rest of the darks there. All right. A bit of highlight. Highlight there. Both kneecaps and a bit of a shine on one, and a 
Take the shot. the foot a bit more kind of unified with the shadows and dark see okay. darker the upper thigh than the lower thigh much much darker the right hand thigh Okay, it's pretty much there, not much to be done, could work it with pencil to be honest, but I think it's good as it is, it doesn't need to be pencil. Yes, possibly using a bit of Conte. Just some more details on the face. I think that would be enough. We normally work where the light illuminates the face and features. That's why I've left it with the shadow here. You can do a bit more highlights here. His left eye. Bit of shine and highlight on his cheek. Bit darker than I would normally go, but just it's uh, thought provoking. Why not go a bit darker? Exaggerating the bone structure here, although it's not as visible as that, but I think it does some good. The bone structure there. I'm using Conte, by the way, Conte Paris. A bit of dark around here. Belly. Neck area. Collarbone. Going deliberately too dark there. But I think it was a mistake. It's just too dark. Over the top. There. Okay. And Nico here. Belly button. And the toes. Too, too dark too soon but yeah I'll leave it at that a bit softer not as harsh as that line highlight on his 
rib cage press Soften a little bit, just went a bit too 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 bright too quickly. And the cheek. So the chin a bit tighter the chin. Neck. The cheek. Highlight on the nose. Bit of highlight of light where the light catches the eye. Okay. And the rib cage structure here, just to emphasize. Although it shouldn't be any light there, but I just want to emphasize the ribcage structure. Well, that will be our lesson for this Tuesday. Right, see you on the next one. What's the date today? What's the... See you on the next one. Bye-bye.